Uh, well, hello there. Let's continue Fallout New Vegas. Um, yeah. So, what were we doing? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, we were going to the... Yes! The Kamikari. Very good. Let's do some NCR stuff. Oh. This is very, very loud. I'm gonna la leave it very loud. Oh, is this the crazy ma Brahmin? No. Sometimes, there's just a random Brahmin uh, running across the, the strip. I don't know hey why. Hey there. Need anything? Let's see. Sure. Here's what I got. What have you got? This is way too loud. <laughs> have you got any interesting mods? You have some cases. Which I will have them for free. Love and defenses, katana, no. Nothing really all that interesting. What about weapons? Nah. Do I have anything to sell? I don't think so. No. I'm good. Camera carry. Camera carry has some cool quests. And one really good weapon. Is that Isaac? Hey. It is Isaac. Oh, Isaac. Oh, it's been a while since I don't played Binding of Isaac. Okay, I could have pressed travel. Um, is it just me or does it feel like that's special? It feels like the yeah, the, the background noise was kind of glitched. Because... Uh, conversation in the middle of uh, the desert. Not really that city. Now, this old Fallout soundtrack that I, I agree with. I can listen to this thing the whole day long and I won't be tired. I lie, I'll probably get tired of it eventually, but... Why am I going in the wrong direction? I am not. What the hell? Yeah, the question pointer thingy, it's kind of stupid sometimes. When you're... When you're playing the game without really thinking about like when you're playing the game and watching something else or listening to something else and you're just blindly flo following the the quest marks you can get very confused and lost <laughs> I know that because that was me with the Norman guy that I was playing as yes. what's that guy? Prison Hello. Oh. Do you have what's up? different things? When payday hits, I'm off to the strip Can't wait Huh, interesting They won't talk to me it won't sell to me. It's not cool. Do -do -do -do. Now, it's probably very rude to talk uh, talk with all these people during the. It's been a long tour. All I can think during about the now night. is going back home. We back home. No place like home. Let's so let's sleep through the night. There is one person that we can talk with, but I will not. Uh, uh, sleep. Why? I can't sleep on the... There. Okay. We will go the Legion can count on that. Did that? Wh who said that? Ten of spades. He's supposed to be... A stutter. I um, guess he's getting better. Isn't there any other beds for me? Come on, NCR. I'm your friend. I'll help you. There's absolutely no beds for me. No, oh, okay, there's one here. Hey! Oh! Darn it! Really? All of them are gonna be owned, right? Oh, man. That's annoying. Fine, I'll sleep on the couch. Where is it? A tent. 
here. Oh, uh, he's without a bed too. Well, I, I, I'll be on the couch. Okay. Uh, seven hours should be fine. Monday. Monday morning. Let's get back to work. You. Hey, my man. Ten of spades. First recon sharpshooter at your service. T -t -t ten of spades. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make fun of him. Don't worry. Are you all right? Oh yeah. F fine. Just a little st st stutter. Had it since I was a kid. Doesn't stop me from kicking ass. I bet. I'm sure it doesn't. D damn right. Uh, ten of span. Ten of spades. Where did you get that name? From the LT, Goro Betts gave it to me. Lieutenant, see, I wanted to be ace of spades, but the LT says, Sorry, kid, you're t t t too green, so he calls me 10 instead. It's okay, though, I get a few more k k k kills under my belt, he'll move me up to Jack. Jack of spades sounds better, right? I keep at it, queen. <laughs> eventually, I'll make it to ace. Think I'll skip queen, though. Queen is, <laughs> yeah. Uh, nothing wrong with Queen, but you know, if that's not you, that's not you, right? Uh, how long have you been a sharpshooter? She, long as I can remember, had a rifle in my hand since I was three. That's what my dad always says. Really? Learned to shoot on our ramp, way west of here. Same as the LT. He's a f f f farm kid too. LT. Okay. When did you enlist on the military? Oh, they recruited me. What? A year ago? Taught me to kick even more ass than before. These guys, they really know how to kick some ass. Forgot to stutter. Yeah, they do know how to hit, kill some. Kill some, no, kick some X. Kick some X, yes. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be making fun of him because I have a little bit of a stutter myself. Except when I'm a little bit of alcohol in the bloodstream. What do you do around here? Kicking ass. Mostly kicking ass. See, we're watching the perimeter right now, looking for those see. fiends to come back. When I've they show their them. faces, that's when we go to work. One shot, one k k kill. That's the first recon way. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all I need to know. Yeah, I'll s s see you around. Okay, I'll see you around. You better route first recon. You got a reason to talk to me? Mm, not really. I just want to talk to people. Uh, not too friendly, are you? Guess not. I don't mean nothing by it. You really want to talk to somebody, try ten of spades. He's always got plenty to say. Me? <laughs> I'm here to do my job. For now, that job is shooting fiends. <laughs> it's a nice job. Bitterroot. Uh, quite an unusual name. Sounds tribal. You trying to start trouble? Or do you really not know where I got that name? I didn't mean to offend, you know, I just... And, uh, I don't have... You don't have to tell me if it if it read or not. It's a con name, you know the great cons. That's what my parents were. I figured I grew up around the bastards. They owed me a name after all they put me through. Oh, what happened to your parents? They're dead. Got themselves killed at Bitter Springs. Served them right, if you ask me. That's cold. Tell me what happened. It was a massacre. That's what a lot of NCR folk will tell you. Most of them feel plenty bad about what happened, but I was there, saw it myself. I don't care what anybody says. The cons asked for Bitter Springs. They wouldn't leave the NCRB. My damn parents oh. too. They were just as bad as the rest. Bitter Springs. That's interesting. So uh, he was inside. He was with the can cons during the Bitter Springs incident, and he sides with the NCR. Uh, you don't really mean that, don't you, do you? Don't I? Mister, you never met my parents. My dad, he got himself fucked up every chance he got. Always started with foe for no reason. Hell, he was the one who taught me to shoot. You know how? By taking pot shots at NCR. And not just soldiers. Civilians, too. Even kids. Then he'd get That's high with horrible. his buddies and swap tales about the folk they killed. Bunch of animals. And my mom? 
A couple of times she tried to sell me to some waster just to score some chat. Even the other cons said she was useless. Only reason they kept her around was because she was a... <clears throat> How'd my dad say it? A smoking piece of ass. Hmm, I get it. So, my plan with this playthrough is to be... Um, try to be <laughs> as friendly and as pacifist as possible. So the boomers, I don't really want to kill them, even though they... I don't know if... There's going into morals here. I don't know if those kind of people in, are reliable to have such a, a offensive power. It could be very dangerous, so... In my opinion, it would be a good idea to just kill them all. But then again, like anybody the, around here in this post-apocalyptic world, there's not a lot of smart people. Anyway, I'm not gonna kill the the cons. That's what I was gonna gonna get to. But this right here makes me kind of makes me a little bit kill them. Makes me want to kill them. So your name it comes from Bitter Springs. You're not fully grown till you've taken a beat down. Everybody gathers around and hits you till you're damn near dead. After that, if you haven't begged for mercy, you get to choose a new name. One you'll use for the rest of your life. When NCR slaughtered the cons at Bitter Springs, I hadn't got my beat down yet. I was still too young. The way I see it, Bitter Springs was my beat down. So afterward, I gave myself a name. It's all I got from the cons. It's all I ever won. Nice. And how did you survive the massacre? Guess I could tell a pretty good story if I had a mind. But the truth is, I don't know. I just got lucky. They brought me to Daughtry after the battle. He was just a captain back then. Guess he saw something in me. He knew I didn't belong with the cons. Maybe he felt bad, too, about how his men killed my folks. I told him he did me a service, but he didn't believe me. Still doesn't. He's a good man, Daughtry. Daughtry. Doesn't act like it sometimes, I know. But he didn't have to take me in. Okay. Intelligence of seven. You're not telling me something. You could have. You couldn't have forgotten the whole massacre. Yeah, I was gonna mention that. Like maybe shock make you forget your traumatic experiences. Uh, but he's just not telling me apparently. It's like I tell Major Daughtry. Best not to look under a rock if you don't really want to know what's there. Could be that NCR found some blood on me and none of it mine. Could be that a few of those cons didn't die from NCR bullets. I had scores of my own to settle. Deeper ones than NCR ever had. Don't bother asking who they were with. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, let's talk about something else. Yeah, that's probably best. Yeah. How long have you been with the first recon? A while, I guess. I don't keep too careful track of time. I like to keep things simple. Just focus on now. That's why they made me a sniper. You let your mind wander back a ways and you lose sight of what's in front of your eyes. Good way to miss a mark. That is an advice for life. Focus on the now. More it's easier said than done. Your father is a commanding officer. Is that allowed? Well, we know that it's not the real father. Yeah, look. He's not my real father. He just looked after me for a while. It's a long story. I get tired is of talking doctor? before it was through. My father, why is that not great? It's action? like I told. Oh, because it says different, something different. It's like I told you, Dotri's not my real father. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where can I find some work around here? You, Merc. And well, then I guess you want to talk to my uh, father, Major Dotri. He's our CO. Oh, I guess the game expected me to ask this before everything else? Oh well. Major Dothry. Okay then, I'll be talking with him. Alright, goodbye. Uh, bye. Hey. Lieutenant? I'm Lieutenant Gorobet, first recon. If you're looking to collect a bounty, you should talk to Major Dothry. Mm, I'll get to him in a second. Uh, first, let's talk with you. No, first let's do something here, because... Kind of bothering me a little bit. 
Yeah, that's fine. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Tell me about first recon. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Some mm. of my team aren't without their share of scars, though, like Betsy and Sterling. Mm, what's wrong with Betsy? Cook Cook, one of the fiends, ambushed her and ten of spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. Betsy shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate for anyone at First Recon to behave that way. I could discipline her, but I'd rather she get medical help. Yeah, that must have been very traumatic for her. I can talk to Betsy about getting medical help for her trauma, if you want. I'd appreciate it. As her CO, I could order her to get help, but I'd have her agree with the idea. Okay, and what about Sterling? Corporal Sterling was an NCR Ranger until he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. He wasn't able to be a Ranger after that, but his eyes are still sharp, so I had him transferred to First Recon. Okay. Tell me about... well... Asked him this already, didn't I? Wear the finest sniper outfit. Yeah, I did. Does NCR usually offer bounties on people? If they've proven hard to kill, yes. Whatever it takes to get the job done, even if it means hiring help from outside the military. Well, I kind of am military, but not really because I don't. I guess I didn't receive any formal train training. Okay. Carry Bye. on. Hello. Uh, Oh, Sterling. Howdy. Name's Sterling. First recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. You remember everyone that passes by? Passes through here? Got a good memory for faces. Landmarks and such, too. Comes with practice, that's all. And a lot of scouting from place to place. That's nice. Interesting rifle you've got there. Lever action, right? I call her the Long Caribbean. Lever action. Didn't always have the scope. I added that myself. Been shooting cool. with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers used bolt action, but Gore Betts reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different. So long as I could hit my targets. Mm -hmm. You always been with the first recon? Used to be a ranger. One of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back nice. in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. 73. Uh, I forget which year we are right now. This guy, he looks pretty old. Uh, why, did you why did you leave the rangers? Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. Got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpe. They oh. had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't gonna be trekking across the waist on any more long scouts either. Uh, how did you manage to escape? Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. Oh. I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple of rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. Tough son of a gun. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Uh, how long have you been stationed here in Camp McCarran? Going on six months now. But I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk huh? about the details. Mm -hmm. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. Whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork. But I still bet a few caps he's stirring up the locals against us. Oh. All right, then. I'll be going now. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. Now, about that carbine. <laughs> you can't just get it. Would be very interesting to get it myself. But I don't, I'm not sure if I can just get it. Um, Betsy. Corporal Betsy. Never seen you around before. What do you want? Hmm. Before. I'm not gonna ask this because 
Yeah, I know what happened to her. So that's just, just insensitive. So you're a sniper. What gave me away? The big gun, the shades, or the attitude? Um, the shades. <laughs> I didn't know that all snipers were wear were wear shades. They don't. Only the good ones do. My wow. partner's got some potential, so goofy glasses. I tell him there is training shades. He totally buys it. Truth is, his eyes just suck. Who? What are you talking about? Uh, have you seen any serious combat Not around here? Not count the fiends is serious. Gorobets keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me. I just shoot bad guys. Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. Okay. What do you mean? Legion fights to win, and they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel oh, bad yeah. about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often, but sometimes. Why? First I've heard about conscience in a while. Some cute little junky bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. Oh. I see some cute little number, and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone-cold bitch after all. Okay, yeah. Uh, who's your partner? Guy. Ten of spades. I like him oh. because he listens. Doesn't shut up the rest of the time, but when I talk, he listens. Also, he doesn't pull any stupid come-ons, like practically every other horndog alpha male on this base. Might be, he's just scared of me, though. Might be. So snipers always work in pairs? Yeah. We spot for each other, watch each other's backs. Usually works pretty well, unless you get paired up with an asshole. Thing is, there's a lot mm -hmm. of assholes in the army. I keep hoping they'll pair me up with some hot blonde like you see on those old pinups. Shit, I don't even care if she can shoot straight. Can't have everything. Okay. Yeah, so about that attitude, that's probably coming from somewhere. You should really get some medical help from her for trauma. The lieutenant's trauma. been talking to you, hasn't he? Look, I don't need a head doctor. I'm first recon, damn it. You don't see the others crying about every little bruise and scrape, do you? <laughs> All right, I'll go for the highest, the highest speech check here because more XP. Uh, well, this is <laughs> this is kind of harsh. Mental trauma can slow you down. Just like to just like the bullet. I would like to say both, but I like this like. Harsh, but true. Damn. Never had you pegged for the drill instructor type, but you got my attention. You can tell the lieutenant that I finally caved. I'll... get help. There's a Dr. Usanagi who's supposed to be good at this sort of thing. Alright. I'll talk to her. Uh, bye yeah. for now. <laughs> try not to get killed. I will try. Yes, uh... Cannot forget to put my armor on when I go back go into battle did I talk with everybody? Stand space, the lieutenant that's hey. bitter root yeah I think that's everybody oh what about dart darty little buster who's little buster let me guess you got work for me right well you're too late I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some caps that Dotri owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. Oh? Are you supposed to be famous or something? Why would I say that? I mean, a, why does Dotri owe because your caps? Because I killed a couple of marks for him. That's why. You ever hear of Jackson? Or Night Terror? Mm. I take it they were fiends? Damn right they were. And they were good too. Till I popped a couple shells in their assholes. Bam. Dead. Finished. Over. She Literally? suddenly gives me a job I their do. assholes? Maybe I complain a little here and there, but my shit gets done. You complain? Mm, okay then. Uh, how long have you been a bounty hunter? Oh shit, I don't know. Gotta be at least a month. 
Longer than I last in most Oh, wow. Jobs. A whole month. <laughs> You've worked a lot of different trades? Oh, yeah. A lot. Like before I was a bounty hunter, I worked as a caravan guard. You'd think that was a cakewalk, right? Wrong. Crazy bastards expected me to wake up at dawn. Forget it. It's about two hours after this guy hits the sack. And I need at least 10, 12 hours of sleep to do my job. Price of excellence. Oh, wow. Well, I don't like this guy. <laughs> uh, he likes the easy life, I guess. I've been known to hunt a few bounties myself. That's a lot well, of hey, but okay. Field's wide open now that I'm gone. Probably lots of people looking to get in once they hear I quit. Mm. Are you supposed to be famous well, or something? Shit. Feel free to stick a knife in the old ego. Thought I made a name for myself around here. Guess that's as good a reason as any to quit this stinking trade. No glory. No easy money, no women, and no glory. Shit. I'd settle just for the women. Uh, why don't you join the Legion or something for one Glorian? Well, if you... Uh, if this guy went to present himself at the Legion, he would be, like, beaten up every day. Probably. Uh, what are you Simple. going to do now? I'm gonna make myself some easy money. I got a plan. Once I get my cash mm -hmm. from Daughtry, I'm going to head on over to Gamora and win big at cards. There's not as many people <laughs> playing at Gamora, so that means I've got better odds of winning big. I got this figured sure. out. Yeah, you, you sure do. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think there will be uh, a slide for him on the end game, but I wish they was, there was. Like him having to go home naked because he had to sell everything he has, so he has enough money for the trip. Uh, why did you quit the trade? See, I thought the bounty hunting trade would be easy money, but it turns out it's hard work, so screw it. Also, I ran into this Mark who was a little too tough for me. I mean, I could have taken him, but with this guy, it might have cost me some bad burns or an ass rape. I'm all for risking my life, but I'm a little sensitive about my asshole. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not gonna judge you on that, but so. Hey, yeah, bye. Yeah. Next time you see me, maybe I'll be rolling in a shitload of caps, right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's going back to bed, and it's 8 a.m. What do you have on yourself? Cram opener. That's pretty good, actually, if I cared for. Unarmed, 50 damage. I have like no skill on fifth on on unarmed. Yeah, 16. Hey. Wow. So why? That's why he's so special. I wish I was special. <sighs> Trigger words. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh, very easy, and it's not red. Let's take a take a look. Now, let's see here. Bets. Very easy indeed. Redhead. Jones, I transferred that redhead you liked over to administ administrator. administrator. You'll be sitting next to her all day, so don't come crying to me if you can't get her in your book. Oh, and you owe me big time for this favor. I'll let you know when I think of something. Okay, reminder. All personnel must secure their terminals before leaving their posts. We don't need another situation like the one Private Cruz Cranshaw created last week. Oh, what happened? Hi there. What's up, Jones? Cranshaw here. So you've got your eye on that pretty red hand, huh? I'll be sure to fill her in in your 14, probably. Uh, seeing as how your buddies and all. Yes, you didn't secure a terminal very well, truly. Choose a better password next time. Was I supposed to... Like, is it always the first word you... You choose? Because that was pretty easy. And the guy was... Was... Saying how easy it was as well. Morning. Morning. Uh, this one is... Off. Well, who was I looking for? I was looking for Death 3. I have the feeling he's closer to the front. This is just a soldier. 
Cracked out junk. Yeah. All those kims make them a real Who are you? To take down. Just a trooper. Any star bottle cap? How many star bottle caps do I have, by the way? Let's see. 27. Oh, that's not a lot. <laughs> Who are you? Trooper. Oh, he looks so distinctive. Just a trooper. I'm not sure there will be anything back here. Yeah. Probably somewhere in the in the front. <laughs> oh? Oh, okay. That does, that just doesn't belong to anybody. Um It's probably not here. Where is this Dumpty guy? Wish for a nuclear winner. Nuclear? Did he just say nuclear winter? It's probably not this guy here, right? No. Where is this guy? There is one person all by himself over mm. here. Oh, that's probably the metal guy there. Sleepy, yeah. Okay, there's somebody over there. Oh, is that him? Oh, that's him. There you are, you if son it's of bad a bitch. News, you can take it up with the colonel. If it's good news, you better involve some dead fiends. Uh, what do you know about Back these fiends? drugged out killers. They're addicted to every stim, every pill, every psychoactive enema on this fucked up earth. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Definitely does, yes. Good. That's damn good. I figure it's about time we got lucky out here, so maybe you can snuff one of these maniacs. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nafai. He's fast and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. And finally, okay. Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac. And damn good chef if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men, and plenty of mercs, too. You go after them, any of them, you're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it gonna be? Does it have to be only one at a time? Um, I'll go for... Cook Cook, One thing I, I should tell you about Cook Cook. Piece of shit is pure animal. He raped one of my snipers, and that makes this personal. I've heard about also, it. Also... He's got a flamethrower, and he's damn good with it. From what I hear, he either rapes or burns every living thing he gets his hands on. Only one man's gotten close to killing him, and that's Little Buster. So he says, anyway. Maybe it's bullshit. Little Buster? I'd still ask him about it. Oh, Little Buster is uh, the mercenary, right? Yeah, probably bullshit. <laughs> uh, yeah, who's this Bounty Little Buster? Hunter. Talks big. But he's still alive, so he can't be completely full of shit. I think he's out in the yard waiting to claim a couple bounties. Yeah, he's waiting for you to pay him back, but he's sleeping right now. Anything else I should know? Thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no decapitations till after they're dead. And no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people will be doubting, and I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you. And don't get careless. Alright then. Uh, tell me again, I've changed my mind. No. You were at Bitter Springs, I'm told. Yeah, I was there. I was Captain Daughtry then. 
That whole situation was a mess. It could easily have been avoided with good intel. The Major in charge at the time made a bad call. He thought Bitter Springs was full of Great Con Raiders. So we surrounded the place. By the time any of us realized there were civilians down there, women and children, shooting had already started. The Major froze up at the news, and we couldn't get another word out of him. I took over and salvaged the situation as best I could. For my effort, I was promoted to Major. Not quite the way I'd have wanted it. Oh well. So it was because of the commander. Commander? I, I didn't pay attention. The guy in charge was the one responsible for the massacre then, huh? What can you tell me about the Great Hunts? We know they supply the fiends with illegal cams, but they never stick around in NCR territory for long. They know the land and move quick. There's talk from time to time about taking out their base at Red Rock Canyon, but nothing ever comes of it. The Great Khans are tough fighters. If we ever did go up against them on their home turf, we'd win. The casualties would be high. Oh, so now I know where Red Rock is. Okay. I've heard you're Bitterroot's father, or adopted, like father... How do you say it? Stepfather? I think. Adoptive father, yes. Adoptive, I was very yes. proud when he made first recon. I know that every time I send them out, I could be sending him to his death. But if it's not me, it'll be somebody else. At least this way I get one more chance to see him. Okay. Uh, so you're having trouble with the fiends, eh? <laughs> this should be this should should have been the first thing I asked, but okay. Damn right I am. And I'm paying bounties. Yeah, should have been higher up on the list. I'll right. be going out. Yeah. So I just I'm going to do a few quests in here, like the big one quest in here. There's a lot more troops here than we thought. No wonder we couldn't hold Helios one. Oh. You know, you have I've been to thinking. Say? The real problem with the Brotherhood is that we isolate ourselves. Our training is top-notch, our technology gives us an advantage, but when it all comes down to it, we're losing because we shun the outside world. We always make enemies, never allies. We refuse to recruit outsiders or see the value in their simpler technologies. That is exactly the problem, yes. None of that is going to change. It's part of the Brotherhood's identity. Why don't you do something about the Brotherhood? Just has to protect the knowledge. It's dangerous. <laughs> okay. Why don't you do something about it? I don't know. I'm still thinking about what kind of role we could take on that would give us the best chance of survival. But I think things are starting to come together. I know the odds aren't good, but I gotta try. I can't lose them. Mm -hmm. Interesting. See you around. See ya. And now, what was I saying? Yes, the big quest around here will give me a very good weapon that I intend to use on taking down the fiends. Uh, who it? are you? Captain Ronald nice Curtis. To meet you. I'm Curtis. Curtis. What do you do around here, Curtis? I'm in charge of Bravo Company. But since General Oliver has Bravo and most of our forces here garrisoned, I'm free to do other things. So I work with Colonel Shu okay. on logistics, patrols, supply lines, reinforcements, that sort of thing. Lately, it's been less about that, and more about figuring out how that information is getting leaked to raiders. It's a big base with a lot of unhappy soldiers. They get stir-crazy. Hard to separate the malcontents from the actual culprit. Okay. All right, then. I'll Later. be going now. Later. Let me see something. No, it's quite normal sized. What is that? Sniper nest location. There we go. Ooh, no, last armor. Deliver location camp for an hope for Volatli Joseph and your highest rank. Major, this is a, this is to inform you that a small sniper nest has been successfully set up near Cottonwood Cove. As requested, the nest should have been have some bedding and a small amount of supplies, but no weaponry. The sniper should be forewarned. 
that the position is close to the enemy camp and upon completing his or her objective should get the fuck out of there as soon as fla flamingly possible. The coordinates are 12 minus 22. Good luck and good hunting. Okay. What is it? Interesting. Uh, nothing. I thought that note would be about something else. I think that guy is from the Legion, and he's a spy in here. But I'm not sure if it's him or not. Inaccessible. Hey. hey. <laughs> Have you guys ever watched that video of a, a meowing cat, but it's like dubbed? And it's instead of meowing, it's just a cat going, hey. Hey. Colonel James. Shoo, I'm usually good with faces, but I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran? I want to help. I'm here to provide support. Um, is there anything I might be able to do? Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. A word? Wow. Any other yeah. problems? On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Wow. You seem very calm. Given that things are as bad calm as they what are. you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. That is very true. Who are the fiends? I know who the fiends are. But let's ask anyway. As in chem fiends. Biggest gang of raiders I've ever seen. Nothing like addiction to swell your numbers. Psychotic and completely unpredictable. They set up shop in Vault 3 to the west. Every day they attack our positions and my men repel them. But every day there's more of them and less of us. I sent one of my rangers after their leader to try and destabilize them. He didn't return. Hell of a thing, losing a ranger. You come to depend on them. And they come through for you so often, you forget it can happen. Well... If you're sending one guy after a group of enemies, that's... You know, that, that's a very high possibility that you're gonna lose that person. Unless that person is a player, and with a with the power of lo reloading the game. I guess I'll go to Vault 3 and see if I can help your, your f help finding your ranger. Vault is a hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. But if you can get him home, it'd mean a lot. Watch for civilians, too. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. They just walk right into people's homes in the middle of the day and take them. But the man you're looking for is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader, Motor Runner. You hear something like a chainsaw, you found Motor Runner. Put a bullet in his head, and you'll have some new friends around here. Nice. How are things going for the NCR around be here? be better, I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on annexing New Vegas. It's a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. But that hasn't happened. If anything, they annexed us. They rake in the profits from our soldiers, and we're stuck protecting them from the Legion. Not exactly the plan. Okay. So I guess Rotface was right after all. Where did now that leave you? We're secure the strip and the dam at the same time, and it's costing us. And in the meantime, General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. So we're in a holding pattern here. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. Yeah, tough situation. I bet I could make that Legion prisoner talk. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent. But I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. 
Okay then. I could look into who's licking and the NCR intelligence. Mm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements, and it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Really? Okay. Um, I put a spell on you. Because you're mine. What's Cam McCarran's role in the NCR operation? It's our main base. We took it because it lets us keep an eye on the Strip. And it had already been fortified before the Great War. From here we handle most of the logistics for our operations in Nevada. Troop allocation, supply distribution, and tell. Usually General Oliver runs the show here. But he's on his way to the dam now, so I've taken on a lot of his duties here. Alright. And are things mostly quiet between here and the dam? Unfortunately, no. In fact, the word from the ranger stations has been especially concerning lately. Sounds like they've run into overwhelming oh. resistance, and supplies just aren't reaching them. It's been so bad, I asked Sergeant Reyes at Camp Forlorn hope to look into it, and see how it is that things could be so fouled up there. Oh, can you give me the locations? I can help. What challenges does the NCR Everything face around here? Everything was going here? according to President Campbell's plan at first. We met minor resistance from local troublemakers. But our two main objectives are still contested. Mr. House controls the Strip, and he won't so much as meet with our ambassador. And we're holding Hoover Dam. But Caesar's Legion is positioning itself to overrun it. If it falls, so will New Vegas. We'd be forced to withdraw. That would be catastrophic. I'll take care of the problems. Bye. Don't worry. Something I can do for you? But I was just talking to you, man. Okay. Oh. A little busy at the Hello. moment, but I can talk. Huh? What this? is this place? The OSI lab. We don't get many visitors. The smell puts people off, I think. Nobody ever said smell? science would smell clean and fresh. Anyway, you get used to it if you give it some time. <laughs> okay, are you a scientist? I know, I don't sound the part. Get raised by Brahmin ranchers and you never lose the twang. Drives Hildren crazy. But I know every inch of the power grid from Hoover Dam to Shady Sands. That's what we do here. That's what matters. Try to optimize the power output from the dam. Some of the others are working on, on an dam. agricultural project, but truth be told, they aren't making much progress. Not yet, anyway. Oh, what kind of project? That will be very interesting. Well, what's your role here? What do hey, you do? Hey, researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. Okay. Do you need any help around here? Any help you with mean anything? give you work? No, that'd be up to the administrator, Hildern. He's back there in his office. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. Mercenaries for say. what? We're not supposed to talk about the research, not the details. If you're interested, I'm sure he'd see you. I'm sure he will. Uh, nice to meet you. If you need anything, I'm almost always in the lab. All right. So I'm having. I, I just remembered something. Uh, I'm having having trouble with uh, editing my videos. The videos are always the videos. The edited videos after exporting them, their the audio is delayed. That's what happened with the last video, and I completely forgot about it. I was supposed to change something on this video, so I didn't have to edit it. But I completely forgot to do that, so this is going to be with the uh, audio and video desynced. Unfortunately, I'm sorry for that, but I will fix that right now. But for me to fix that, I need to stop here and start another video. So yeah. Bye for now, and I'll see you in a short while.